Finnovation. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to ride a unicycle. I got a request from this last fall, but the obvious question is... The obvious question is what took you so long? Well, the weather was not cooperating. It's been snowing ever since, so this is the first finally nice enough day that we can do a unicycle tutorial. Let's right. get into it. All right, the first thing we want to adjust with our unicycle is the height of the seat. I already have mine properly adjusted. My hips should be just below the seat of the unicycle. So, when I hop on the unicycle and I put my foot down, it should be, my knee should be just shy of locking and it, my leg should be almost straight, just like you're on the bicycle. So, that is about the height you want. This was my first unicycle. It came with these poles. These poles were very helpful to help get the feel for your unicycle without having to balance as much. But the problem with them is it messed up your posture and you became too dependent on the poles when you were riding, so you'd hunch your back and it'd mess up your center of balance. So, if I was gonna use the poles and I was gonna learn to ride a unicycle again, I would only practice with the poles for about a half hour to an hour. The best technique I found was get two trash cans or large objects that you can lean against and slowly see how far you can get and set goals of like one pedal rotation. Then next, you try and get two and just keep on doing this until you go. So my first time, I might have only got this far before I fell off. But then, I would slowly keep practicing, and after a hundred times, I could maybe get to right here before falling off. And I just continued doing this until I could ride a unicycle. After you know pretty much how to ride a unicycle, there are a few things you might want to note. Your posture, you want to make sure your posture is as straight as possible so that you can prevent yourself from falling over. A thing that helps practicing with your posture so that you know if you have good posture or not is honestly just letting go and falling into a trash can and seeing how long before you fall in. This really does help. Another thing that helps is just kind of letting go with your hands and practicing going like that before you fall over. I still can't do that much and I, even, and I can ride a unicycle but this really does help to get the feel of a unicycle. Also, when you're practicing, take breaks frequently because when you're on a unicycle, it's a totally different set of muscles than it is when you're walking. So my back got really sore when I was learning how to ride a unicycle. It, the power of the unicycle comes from your hips and straightening and like how tight your legs are. It's totally different than walking where it comes from the core. Unicycling comes from your hips. So. Those are some things you might want to note. All right, the next thing we need to do is protect our unicycle. Cause when you're learning to ride a unicycle, you sure fall a lot. I've already done it on the front here of the unicycle, but basically all we do is we get a piece of pool noodle or insulator. We, we're using insulator, but you can get like a ton of this stuff for a dollar at Lowe's or your supply, craft supply store. So you really honestly just put a piece of pool noodle or insulator, put it on there with a piece of duct tape, and that's it. So now when you drop your unicycle, it's all right, so the seat doesn't get scuffed up and look bad. All right, now that you have your unicycle and your seat protected, now you need to protect you, because you're gonna fall a lot. First off, wear a helmet. Now I'm gonna show you the ways that you should fall when you fall while riding a unicycle. All right, the first way to fall would be falling straight forward. The way to do this is as you're riding, when you fall, your unicycle goes forward and you just hop right off, get your feet off the pedals and kind of jump off. It's all right if your unicycle falls. Once you sort of know when you're gonna fall, you start realizing that you're going to fall. And you don't want your unicycle to get scuffed up even with the seat protectors. So what you can do is the exact same thing, but reach your hand behind and grab your unicycle behind you so that you end up like this. This prevents your unicycle from falling and you. That sums up our unicycle tutorial. Boy, am I tired. Tired? Finn, that reminds me of a joke.
Oh no. Why does a bicycle need a kickstand? I don't know. Because it's too tired. I guess you're right because a unicycle only has one wheel and no kickstand. Whatever, subscribe, leave a like, comment down below what I should do next. I need some suggestions. Bye.